Okay, so let's just start off by asking you how you got your start in mixed martial arts. Okay, um, so I started off living, when I was living in L.A., I was uh, basically just kind of doing mostly just photography work, and I wasn't really working out much, so I was looking for a, uh, a martial arts gym or a kickboxing gym to kind of get back to into to, to kind of get back into shape. Sure. I've done kickboxing and boxing in the past, but more or less um, just for fun. I, I did some amateur boxing uh, for a few months when I was in college, but more or less I did it for fitness. And um, so I found a gym and I uh, ended up, excuse me, going over there and, and, and finding that I really liked it, and uh, my coach, who was this Brazilian coach from Shootbox, um, his name was Roberto Pisini. He, he basically talked me into uh, believing that I could do it as a profession, and um, once he kind of made me believe in that, I uh, put it to my in my mind, and I set the, the, the journey to begin. Awesome stuff. So uh, let's move forward then, and let's talk about your fight this past weekend. Okay. Um, what would you like to know? <laughs> Just tell me how it went and uh, the whole experience of fighting. I guess this was your second fight with uh, XFC. Yes. Yeah, um, great, great shows. You know, they really have things uh, uh, very organized and, and just they, they promote the shows very well. There was a lot of people there. Um, you know, I got a different opponent or a new opponent a couple weeks ago and so that was kind of threw me for a loop, but I'm kind of used to it. Actually, it happens to me quite often. I've had it more more than not happen to right. me. Um, you know, I ended up going out there and kind of the game plan was to use my my uh, my length and, and keep her out with my jab and kind of just keep it standing. Um, but that didn't really last very long. <laughs> so she kind of, you know, um, came at me pretty quick and it ended up on the ground and I took advantage of that and, and submitted her in a minute 50 the first with the rear naked choke. Okay, cool. So uh, who was in your corner for this fight? Um, I have my dad, Brad Clark, who's in my corner for all my fights. He's, cool. Uh, yeah, he's he's kind of there just to kind of calm me down, I guess, keep me relaxed and sure. you know, just comfortable and He's also a, was an ER physician. He's retired now, so he's always, you know, gives me a little bit of that faith that, like, if anything did happen to me, I'm good because my dad's there. Right. Uh, and my corner uh, and coach, Chris Luttrell, who's um, just an amazing, amazing corner coach, uh, was was a fighter and just um, a friend, and, and I consider family as well. Okay, awesome. And uh, who who helped you get ready for this fight? Who did you train with, spar with, that sort of thing? Um, you know, for this fight, there was a few girls that were uh, gone out of, out of the gym for, for a little bit. So the more I actually u- utilized um, a girl named Lindsay Jones who was getting ready for a fight, um, a girl named Erin um, McDougal from Canada who was down, an amateur girl. So we sparred a lot for this fight. Jody Escabel, Noemi Denson, who's a boxer, um, she was getting ready for a boxing fight the day after my fight, so we sparred a lot. You know, um, I was in there for a, as a punching bag for Holly um, for this her fight up, you know, a couple or I guess a week ago. Um, Julie Kedzie was there, and uh, I'd say you know there's a guy named Ray Martinez who also helps me out a lot. He's a 135er, so we, we spar a lot and do a lot of jiu-jitsu. And another guy named um, Eric has a, a line out actually called Dexterous Fight Gear. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. And then, you know, my boyfriend, uh, Manny Hosha, he's been there the whole pads for me and Mike Winkle John and stuff. They were they're big parts of, of helping me build the game plan and, and give me my confidence in my striking. Okay, cool. So this fight just ended this past weekend. Um, kind of early to ask you this question, but you've been be- real busy the last two years. Um, when are you looking to get back in the cage? Uh, I don't have a date set right now. I have some uh, some photography work that I'm going to be doing in L.A. in August. I'm leaving the end of July, actually, to go out to L.A. for a good month. Um, I'm going to be working with a company called Sherry Photo. If you go to www.sherryfoto.com, you can check out um, her work and her partnered work, um, Headley. So I'm going out there to shoot some stuff, make some money, a little different, you know, change sure. it up, but also training as well out there and 
Um, we're just, we'll see what's up. We'll see what, what comes. Uh, John and I from XFC have discussed some, you know, possible uh, opponents and a possible date uh, for my uh, 115 debut. So, okay, cool. Works. Yeah. So can I get a uh, prediction? Um, this August there's a big women's fight in MMA. Ronda Rousey versus Sarah Kaufman. Gotta go with Sarah Kaufman. She's uh, one of the girls. She comes down and trains with us. She's one of Julie Kedzie's good, you know, good part, training partners and uh, just an amazing girl who works extremely hard, has amazing coaches behind her and a uh, school and partners and stuff. And I, I really think she's going to be able to come up with a game plan to beat Ronda. Uh, Ronda's a great, great, great fighter, you know, but uh, I think she's not going to be expecting what Sarah's going to bring her. So I expect Sarah to win.